my first month of Cambridge, I was asked to perform at, at this gathering for the African Caribbean Society. And my friend who knew me before Cambridge asked me to rap and I didn't want to because I knew that we, this is not the audience that will understand or be able to make the most of what I'm saying. As a compromise, I said, let me just talk my lyrics. And that's how my poetry was born. My influence that set me on that path really was my mum. You know, she'll take us to the library, talk us through our identity, decisions, our character, and most importantly, read with us. So by the time I go into a reception, my reading was ahead of most of the class. I guess the ultimate measure of success for me is the difference that I'm able to make for people's lives. Through that journey, I just stumbled on podcasting. I was able to adapt all of these elements to make something fresh that, that suited me in the way that poetry did nine years ago. I always had the, the intention to engage in alternative politics, create a new political plane, do some of the heavy lifting that we, we often associate with parliament, but do it on a community level. That there are people that have told me that they were able to change their careers or change their family dynamics as a result of listening to my, my work. Yeah, you, I'll, you can imagine I'll take that to the grave. <laughs>